Okay, so in, in the last video, we, we took the derivative of, of this function up at the top of the screen, and, and we started the first derivative test. We, we found our critical numbers, our asymptote, and we, we picked v test values, and now we're just starting to find the signs of the derivative. And of course, the signs of the derivative is, it, finding the sign is the same thing as finding whether or not the derivative is increasing or decreasing on the interval and we'll go through that. Okay, so let's just continue. We plugged in negative 2, we figured out the derivative was negative. If we plug in negative 1 half, well negative 1 half to the fourth is going to be um, is going to be 1 over 16 minus 1, that's negative, and then over negative 1 half to the third which is negative 1 eighth. So this is a negative over a negative, that's a positive. So this is a positive. Then 1 half is going to be negative. And, and how do I know that just looking at Well, I did the same kind of in thing in my head. 1 16th, positive 1 16th minus 1 is negative over and then 1 half to the x cubed is 1 eighth and that's all, this is a negative over a positive. The times 2 won't change the sign of anything. So it's a negative over a positive, that's negative. And then 2, well we're going to get 16 minus 1, 15 times 2 is 30 over uh, 2 cubed, which is 8. So 30 over 8, is, they're all, all positive values. This is positive. Okay, you don't have to be able to do it that fast. It may, maybe there's probably many of you that can do it much faster, almost instantaneously in your head. So uh, don't worry about it. You could, you could use a calculator. I think it's a little bit tedious because all you need is the sign. You don't need to know the, the exact calculation. For instance, I could have done, you know, okay, 2, two to the 4th, is definitely bigger than 1, so that's positive, times 2, that's positive, over 2 cubed, well, two, a positive number cubed is positive. So you don't need to do the exact calculation, just as long as you know the sign. Okay, so, so what is our conclusion here then? Well, here this is, yeah, why don't I do it this way? This interval, it's, uh, it, we're decreasing here, and we're increasing, then we're decreasing, then we're increasing. Okay, so let's see. Our critical numbers were were negative one. Let me negative one and one. Zero was a vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote. I'm just gonna write V A. So what did we figure it out? Well, to the left of negative 1, the function is decreasing, and to the right, it's increasing. So, so negative 1 is a minimum. Let's look at our other critical number. To the left of positive 1, the function is decreasing, and to the right, it's increasing. So 1 is also a minimum. And, and at the vertical asymptote, the function is increasing, going from left to right now. Keep this in mind. We're increasing towards the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote was at zero, so let me kind of draw this in. This is zero. We're increasing towards it, and then when we're coming away from it, we're decreasing away from it. So this is this is kind of a sketch of what the graph looks like. And if you were to graph x to the fourth plus one over x squared, you would see that it, it actually looks a lot like this. So just just all we did was we found the relative extrema and we we tested some values using the derivative use, uh, which really we were just testing the slopes and and finding out if the function was increasing or decreasing and doing that we got a pretty good sketch of this function okay so that's that well I'll see you in the next video